New questions this morning about cholesterol drugs known as statins. Should healthy people take them as a preventive measure? Let's ask our Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Maggie. The reason we're raising this question is because the FDA has just approved one of these drugs, Crestor, for healthy people. But a lot of medical experts don't think that's a good thing. Why not? It is incredibly controversial, Maggie, and this is just one more piece to that story. The controversy will continue. I think there are many reasons why there's no consensus amongst medical experts. First of all, there are thought to to be political and financial issues, which are obviously not, they're very far reaching yeah, and best left to those experts, exactly. But within the medical community even, the controversy stems really for two basic reasons. One, the, the issue of risk versus benefit to this class of medications. Some people feel that the risks really outweigh the benefits, and, and even within the field of cardiology, there's some debate. And also now, and we're seeing it particularly with this indication, the question of prevention versus treatment. They are now using a marker to determine whether someone would be at risk for having high cholesterol, which is really an inflammatory marker. It's not the same thing as measuring your total cholesterol. And and there's very little consensus within the field of medicine mm -hmm. whether that is an adequate marker to judge one's risk. Let, let's explain that a little bit. They, they find this inflammation, which is not necessarily an indication that you may be at risk for heart disease exactly. in the future, and therefore need to take preventive medicine. Exactly. And particularly, we're talking about a marker called CRP, which is a measure found in our blood of generalized inflammation. Within the field of cardiology, it's not quite known whether high cholesterol causes inflammation or whether whether inflammation can then lead to plaque buildup, which, which is seen as a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. It's a which comes first, mm -hmm, the chicken exactly. or the egg question. And so then what are the risks versus the benefits of taking cholesterol drugs? Well, first of all, we should mention this is the most widely prescribed class of drugs in the U.S. So there are millions of people on these drugs, and for most people, the risks are quite low. But the ones we hear about are muscle aches and, and fatigue in the muscles. And there's also, because it's metabolized in the liver, the risk of liver toxicity leading to liver damage. Damage, again, those risks are thought to be very low. Now, the most recent risk, which has gotten a lot of attention, is a 9% increased risk for the development of type 2 diabetes seen oh. in people over the age of 60 taking statins. Oh. Again, when you ask the experts, they feel that the benefits right. in reducing cardiovascular events far outweigh the risks of developing diabetes. But if you don't need this drug and it's just for prevention, it's definitely something to and think about. And that's why we're going to hear a right. lot more in this controversy. Is, once you start taking taking statins, do you have to take them for life? You do, Maggie, because they work based on how the liver produces your body's own cholesterol. So this mm. is really a Band-Aid. If you stop taking it, your body will start producing the cholesterol again. So, so can you give us some quick suggestions? How can we lower our risk of high cholesterol without taking any medicine? For everyone, you know what it is, diet, exercise, but you can't change your family history. And for people who are prone to high cholesterol, this might be very, very important, if not necessary. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, you Jen. Bet, a lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.